Welcome to Electron Online. And in order to understand the celestial sphere and its coordinate system better, we should understand the Earth's celestial sphere. Well, I shouldn't call it Earth's celestial sphere. The Earth's sphere and its coordinate system better. And the coordinate system of the Earth, which I kind of try to illustrate here before, I've been keeping this up here for the last couple of videos, notice that we have lines that run concentric with the equator, and then we have lines that run around the Earth like this. These lines here represent the latitude, the height above and below the equator. These lines here represent the longitude where on the Earth you are relative to a fixed point on the Earth. That fixed point on the Earth that determines the longitude of the Earth is a small town called Greenwich, which is near London in England. And the line that runs right through that is known as the prime meridian. A meridian is an imaginary line that runs around the Earth through the poles and goes to the point directly above where you're observing. So let's say you're standing anywhere on the earth, you look straight up, the line that goes through, through that point directly above you and through the north pole and through the south pole, that's called a meridian. And the meridian that goes through Greenwich is called the prime meridian. And so of course you can also think of these other imaginary lines that have been drawn on the earth as meridian lines that go through the north pole, the south pole, and around the Earth like that. Now also we have the equator which divides the world in a top half and a bottom half. The top half is called the northern hemisphere, the bottom half is called the southern hemisphere, and in the celestial sphere we have a northern celestial sphere and the southern celestial sphere just the same in alignment with the Earth's equator. We have the North Pole and the South Pole. Notice that the position on the Earth between the North Pole and the South Pole is called latitude. The position around the world in this direction relative to the Greenwich, the line going to Greenwich, the prime meridian, is called the longitude. The latitude is positive above the equator and it's negative below the equator and with the celestial sphere that's exactly the same. And then the longitude is negative to the west of the prime meridian going through Greenwich and is positive to the east of the prime meridian. And so you can go all the way from 0 to minus 180 and from 0 to positive 180 in those two the points that meet on the other side of the world directly opposite of the, uh, green, the line going to Greenwich, the prime meridian. Notice the position, the, the town where I'm in as a, is at latitude 33.92. That means 33.92 degrees above the equator and the longitude is minus 118.42 which means 118.42 degrees west of the prime meridian. Sometimes we, in, this is typically what they show you in GPS, they show you in decimal format but they also sometimes will show you in minutes and seconds. So this would be degrees, this would be minutes, and this would be seconds. So 33 degrees, 55 minutes and 9 seconds, minus 118 degrees, 24 minutes and 59 seconds. In decimal notation, it is equal to that. So that allows you to find any location on the Earth. And so for the celestial sphere, we have to have a similar technique. Now for the position above and below the northern sun, uh, above and below the what we call celestial equator, we can follow the same kind of system. We can say so many degrees above, so many degrees below. But as far as finding the longitude, we have a, a more difficult problem here because the Earth is constantly rotating on its axis, so things will always be in a different position throughout the day, and it's also revolving around the Earth, so it'll be in different positions throughout the year. And so for that we have to have some sort of adjustment. We call that right ascension. I'll show you how that works. It actually works pretty beautifully. But uh, here is the way we look at the coordinate system on the Earth, and we'll then we'll apply that to the coordinate system of the celestial sphere. See how you find the similarities there.